Hi, I'm Gohar Vardanyan, and welcome to the second video for the Guitar Etude series. In this video, we're going to explore Emilio Pujol's Etude No. 13, which appears in Book 3 of his Guitar School. <laughs> I like to use this etude as a supplement to practicing scales. So whenever I get tired of playing just the regular old two or three octave scales up and down, I turn to this etude to introduce some variety. And this is actually good for us because when we encounter a passage in a piece of music um, that we have to use the scalier technique to play it, we don't necessarily have to play a scale up and down. Usually, actually, we, we don't have to play a scale up and down in a piece, but we do have to play something that's chromatic, something that has leaps, uh, something that skips strings or stays on the same string for a while. So this, this etude has all of that, and it's good to introduce it before you actually see it in, um, in a piece of music. When I played it for you, I just played the most regular way, which is uh, INM and rest stroke. So I played it here. <laughs> practice this entire etude from the beginning to the end with a and m and that works on the independence of the two fingers and it improves i and m actually even though um, you're playing a and m and as i said um, i played it rest stroke however you should practice it free stroke as well because sometimes you're going to counter a um, piece of music that can't, you can't really use rest stroke scales in, so it's good to have your free stroke up to par as well. And then if you want to, you can also practice free stroke with a and people I know practice scales with A and I. I don't usually do that on a regular basis, but you could do that as well, just for variety's sake. And you can do the same thing, free stroke. So I hope this helps you introduce some variety into your scale practice, and I will see you in the next video with another etude. Thank you so much for watching.